This episode and the next two will follow the same format as the previous episodes, but starting in episode 8, there will be transitional meals from the almost entirely plant-based meals to meals that incorporate meat in the recipes. Remember, if you're choosing to follow this protocol, these aren't the only foods you can eat. These are just examples of the foods that I would eat if I could go back and start my healing process over. But feel free to make your own variations of these recipes if you don't want to follow a cookie cutter blueprint. Smoothie one consists of ripe bananas, an orange, and frozen mangoes. It is very important that the bananas are ripe and soft with black spots on them. Raw unpasteurized milk is the liquid base and the key ingredient. Smoothie 2 consists of ripe bananas, frozen blueberries, and frozen cherries. Again, it is imperative that the bananas are ripe. Raw unpasteurized kefir is the liquid base and a major probiotic. Dinner will be cheesy mashed potatoes with sides of steamed carrots and green beans. Powerful probiotics, raw milk, and raw cheese will be used for the potatoes, and a side of fermented vegetables will top off this powerhouse meal. This is a twist on a typical classic southern meal, but instead of the mashed potatoes being an accompanying side to a slab of meat, they are the center of this meal and where the bulk of the calories should come from, and are accompanied by steamed green beans and carrots. Eventually this meal is eaten with meat back at the center, as I often do, but the idea is to optimize the microbiome before doing so. That's it for episode 5. Feel free to shoot me an email to KennyHanasHealthAndFitness at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram, KHanasHealthFitness. I will try to respond to you in a reasonable amount of time. Until then, stay tuned for episode 6.